storms, a cold front, and snow. What a fun way to start off a new week. Let's talk about it in this Monday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, it's Monday, the 25th of March, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. Thunderstorms continue to make a ruckus across the eastern third of Texas this morning after an active Saturday, Saturday, I wish, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night into early this morning. We had a couple of brief tornadoes reported in the Panhandle, northwest Texas, even in the parts of north Texas. Looks like one near Perryton, one southeast of Shamrock. One well southwest of Wichita Falls, and we had what was probably a water spout over Lake Louisville early this morning slash late last evening west of the colony. Fortunately, unless we hear otherwise, it looks like that water spout spun up and dissipated before moving on shore, but that was a bit of a rough couple of minutes for anyone in that vicinity. We were keeping an eye on it. No warnings were issued, fortunately, with that. Let's take a look at the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight, into Tuesday. Line of showers and thunderstorms across the eastern third of Texas this morning will continue to make good progress to the east as we head towards lunchtime, exiting the state into Arkansas and Louisiana, where the threat of severe thunderstorms will increase this afternoon into Mississippi. Can't rule out localized strong winds, maybe a brief tornado and some small hail with storms in East Texas this morning, but for most of the overnight hours, we've seen storms behave themselves, so hopefully that'll remain the case for the remainder of this morning. Back on the cold side of the system, snow showers across the Texas Panhandle this morning into this afternoon. Potential for maybe an inch or two of snow with strong northwesterly winds north of Interstate 40, places like Dowhard, Dumas, all the way up towards Perryton, Depending on how much snow falls, there could even be near blizzard conditions at times because of the very strong winds and the snow blowing around. So please be mindful of that, even with warm soil temperatures. Well, uh, yeah, it's going to be cold. It's going to snow. And then notice this afternoon, we may even have some heavier snow showers develop with some convective elements in the eastern Texas panhandle moving in northwest Oklahoma. That would be interesting, again, with some minor snow accumulations possible there. Otherwise, we will dry out for the remainder of the state this afternoon into tonight and most of tomorrow. We may see a few showers in the Panhandle in West Texas Tuesday night, and then the northern half of the state isolated to widely scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two on Wednesday. But at this time, widespread precipitation does not look likely. And then, well... Unless something changes, we're going to be dry for pretty much the remainder of the week. And at this point, it looks like Easter, dry and probably warm. So hopefully that will remain the case. Fire weather conditions over the next few days. Well, today, the potential for very high to extreme wildfire danger in the Edwards Plateau into the Rio Grande Plains even parts of the hill country. Red flag warnings are in effect. We're expecting high fire danger in northwest Texas, the big country, the Permian Basin, the Concho Valley, the borderland far west Texas, down into the Davis Guadalupe Mountains, the Trans-Pecos, Big Bend region, all the way down into, again, well, the hill country, south Texas, even into the coastal bend, the Rio Grande Plains. Tuesday, the fire danger will lower a little bit and mainly be confined to, well, Davis Guadalupe Mountains, the Trans Pecos, the Big Bend, the Edwards Plateau, the Rio Grande Plains, South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, the Coastal Bend. Same story on Wednesday. So, again, northeastern half of Texas, especially now that we've had a little bit of rain, grass fire danger will be a bit lower. Southwestern half of the state, well, there you go. Temperatures the next five days. Well, today, a little bit of a uh, seasonal change. Panhandle. Highs near freezing or just above in the 30s. Wind chills in the teens. Rio Grande Valley, McAllen, Brownsville. You'll be in the 90s this afternoon. Nothing like a 60 to 70 degree temperature difference across the state to make you realize it is indeed spring. Highs otherwise for the remainder of the state. West Texas, Northwest Texas, 40s, 50s, 60s. 
cool front moving southeast may bring some of that cooler weather into places like the big country and well northwest texas this afternoon we'll start off warm this morning otherwise 60s and 70s across the majority of the state now as we go into tuesday you can definitely see cool front will have moved south we're expecting highs in the 50s northern third of texas 60s down into the brazos valley east texas Hill Country, Permian Basin, 70s to low 80s, southern third of Texas, which is still, you know, about a 10 degree temperature drop compared to today. So, hey, it qualifies. Wednesday, highs, almost same story, honestly, not really all that different. And then we start a warm up on Thursday with highs returning to the upper 60s, 70s to middle 80s across the state. And then that warm up will continue into Friday, mostly upper 70s and 80s across a majority of the state. And again, unless something changes and it's weather, so it could, we should have a mostly uneventful weekend in terms of any sort of mischievous weather, which makes me a very happy clam. So, with that being said, that will be it for your Monday edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. We'll keep an eye on things here, but hopefully I will be able to sleep a normal schedule this morning and thus not be pulling any sort of all-nighter mischief. You can always keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device, interactive weather radar, local forecast, and more. All right. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. God bless. Hey, you know what would be neat if I learned how to turn off the video? Coffee time. Mm -hmm.